Hello students, today we are going to discuss the poem Night of the Scorpion by Nizam Ezekiel. Nizam Ezekiel was an Indian born poet of Jewish descent. He has been described as the father of post independence Indian verse in English. He had a varied career as an English teacher in India, England and the US. He wrote plays, worked as a broadcaster on Indian radio and contributed many critical articles to the literary sections of magazines and newspapers. Nizam Ezekiel's Night of the Scorpion is a strong yet simple statement on the power of self-effacing love. Full to the brim with Indianness, it captures a well-detached black and white snapshot of Indian village life with all its superstitious simplicity. The poet dramatizes a battle of fires fought at night in lamplight between good and evil, between darkness and light, between rationalism and blind faith, and out of this confusion there arises an unexpected winner, the selfless love of a mother. In the Night of the Scorpion, the speaker tells a story from his childhood in, his, in which his mother was bitten by a scorpion. The scorpion had entered the speaker's home because it wanted to hide from the rain. When it bit the speaker's mother, it was hiding beneath a sack of rice. Ten hours of steady rain had driven the scorpion to hiding beneath a sack of rice. After inflicting unbearable pain upon the mother with a flash of its diabolic tail, the scorpion risked the rain again. The narrator describes the incident in which the scorpion stings his mother without mentioning his mother at all. Instead, he focuses on the scorpion. And thus, we find the details that after beating the mother, it risked the rain again. The peasant folk of the village came like swarm of flies and expressed their sympathy. They, along with their superstitious belief, thus begins the night of pain and agony. The village people believed that with every movement the scorpion made, the poison would move in mother's blood. So with lighted candles and lanterns, they began to search for him but in vain. To console the mother, they opened the bundle of the superstitions. They told mother that the suffering and pain will burn away the sins of her previous birth. Mother hardly heard anything. She twisted and groaned in mortifying pain. They told her that even the suffering will decrease the misfortune of her next birth too. The husband, who was skeptic and rationalist, tried every curse and blessing, powder, herb and hybrid. And as a last resort, he even poured a little paraffin on the beaten part and lighted it. The painful night was long and the holy man came and played his part. He performed the rites and tried to tame the poison with incantation. After 20 long hours, the poison lost its sting. The ironic twist in the poem comes when in the end, the mother who suffered in silence opens her mouth. All she says was, thank God the scorpion picked on me and spared my children. Night of the Scorpion creates a profound impact on the reader with an interplay of images relating to good and evil, light and darkness. Ezekiel is known to be a detached observer of the Indian scenario. On the one side of the poem, he presents an Indian village through the eyes of an outsider 
and finds the deep-rooted strains of superstition and blind faith, which may seem foolish to the Western eye. But on the other, the poem never fails to highlight the positive side of the Indian village life. The poet does not turn a blind eye to the fellow feeling, sympathy and cooperation shown by the villagers. The villagers, on getting the news of the mother bitten by a scorpion, rushed to the house and tried to console the victim and the family in every possible ways. Although their actions were steeped in deep superstition, it shows the helping nature, the sympathetic and the fellow feeling of the Indian village folk. And Nizamizikil deals in this poem with the all-conquering power of love. The reader too should be well aware of it. There is a contrast between the world of irrationality represented by the villagers and the world of rationalism presented by the father who tries all rational means to save his wife from suffering. Religion too played its role with the holy man saying his prayers, but all the three become futile. One cannot totally ignore the underlying current of love and fellow feeling in their endeavors. Images of the dark forces of evil abound in the night of the scorpion. But finally, love conquers all and that is all you need to know. Okay students, that's all for today. Thank you.